Okay, so this is a little bit more of a demonstration of the uh, Fulin drill, uh, which really helps with uh, learning how to develop a uh, Fulin, um, and then the drills that come after that. So the uh, most basic version of this is we just start off in a line, and one person is going to be the leader and one person is going to be the, the student. So what the leader does is they just push the uh, student's blade around and the student just tries to maintain contact without being stiff. So if I push this way, uh, Bernhardt doesn't want to resist and he also doesn't want to be static in that position, so I go like this, right? He just wants to maintain a nice, um, a nice contact in between. It's almost like a elastic, um, an elastic connection. You want to have your hands basically across your body and you want to keep them in the same position. Um, you don't want to be like moving them around in, into that, because we'll get into that in the next drill. But so for now, if I'm going to uh, move his blade around, it should be something like this, right? switching across is when my weak basically is on his strong and then I just turn it over and then we shift sides. Um, it's just, as you do this drill you'll find that uh, there are some moments where it's just super easy to do that. So the next variation on this drill is the uh, positioning drill. It's mostly to um, teach all of the uh, uh, transitions so that uh, so that you can uh, learn to get your, your uh, strong on their weak. So as we go like this, if I'm doing um, the same type of thing as I was initially, or rather, we start out in the same position, and I'm going to attack Bernhard from different positions. First, like the first version is just staying in the bind, staying on the same side of the sword, and then switching sides of the sword as I choose, and then also leaving the bind, right? So if I go like this, yeah, he wants to go up into an upper hanging. If I go here, he also will go into an upper hanging there. We've got lower hanging, and uh, try to keep your hands a little more forward for that. Yeah, there you go. And lower hanging. And so. Right. So those are the four main positions. It's um, the it's. The defense against the uh, four main peaks. Essentially, what you're doing is learning to get your strong on, the, on their weak and keep your weak aimed at the opponent. Um, this pretty much deal like this allows you to practice several techniques at the same uh, in one drill without having to necessarily think about the technique. It focuses on um, having a goal and accomplishing the goal, and um, more than like worrying about the technique and anything like that. Right? It allows, by accomplishing those goals, the techniques are uh, able to arise kind of naturally. So, notice we're not stepping. That's uh, quite important for this at this point because you don't want to, um, you don't want to accidentally hit each other. Right? So if we do this for a bit, just for an example. Right? It's uh, useful to note that it's good to practice the uh, mutirn here if you end up in a scenario. Usually it's when you're in a low line and uh, instead of winding like this, and if you see my blade is underneath, right, it's underneath his lower guard. What he does is he dips his point under and then with thrust from here. Uh, so basically it goes like this. So if we end up cutting, right, and we get into this scenario and his uh, no, no. Your, your weak slides forward, that yeah, line is strong, right? And you, you don't catch their blade like this. This is when you essentially would want to do the material. So if we do this and we add in the material, right? So, this is 
So that's generally how it comes up. It just helps you get in a little bit more of the variation that doesn't come from like, we'll say, kind of the ideal positioning and trapping. Um, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of like, we'll say like uh, leaving the bind and stuff, which uh, helps helps train for uh, apnemon and it helps to train the, uh, the option item counters to that. Right? So there you go. good to mix up both uh, attacks from the bind and also um, epnemon, which just means leaving the bind to attack to a new place. You're, you're taking off on the, on the bind. Um, then uh, from here, the next kind of a thing that you can do is um, to uh, add in the, uh, the thrust uh, counter from the person who's doing, the, who's the student of the drum. <coughs> All they do is they add in like, it's very important. So essentially what you wanna do when you're like closing the, closing the, uh, the distance, right? When you're in the uh, suplex, is you want to cut first, right? And then you wanna thrust. And then once, once your thrust is like online and you have like, once you have control of the line and you have your arms out, then you would want to step. But what we're going to do is we're just going to not step uh, for the sake of the drill. Um, for the moment, right? So what we do, right, is we'll go into a bind, right? We'll just start into a bind, right? And then uh, from here, I go like this, and then he would practice sticking his hands forward, um, maintaining correct posture, but just the, the goal is, right, so if you if you do some sort of a, a cut, right? I go here, right? Um, right, so as I go here, I just want to shoot my hands forward, right? And we're far, the reason we're this far away it's because this is about the ideal, uh, say, initial engagement point. Because if either of us steps, we can start to get into range. If both of us step, we're definitely in range. And if either of us steps, we're in range for thrusting techniques, for instance. Which is about where you actually want to start off. So, we'll just do a little bit of this, right? So. subdued manner right now simply because we're not wearing the gear this is more of like a demonstration of the drills um, but afterwards we're gonna go outside and we're gonna have our protective gear on and then we're gonna actually go at it for a little bit or like actually do the drill at a, a regular intensity for a bit um, it's really important to for the person who's attacking to have a clear target and to to be attacking towards the target um, and the person who's who's a uh, uh, the student of the drill who's doing the um, the displacement counters, they're, they have to have a target as well for their counter because otherwise they'll be thrusting like off to the side and nowhere and it doesn't work out very well. Um, so the very last kind of variation of the drill is where you do a lot more uh, you do a lot more cutting and it's like sometimes you stay in the bind but sometimes you don't. But the goal is it's like you start out also so that see from here where if we if I take a step right I mean basically thrusting range but I want to stay here so then what we do and we're gonna be doing this like significantly slower and lighter just because we're not wearing protection right now and uh, we're inside um, it's very windy outside so we'll have to go outside and film it but so I would cut like this and what you want to do 
is he wants to get his strong onto my weak and his weak aimed at my body with each each cut, right? So he's going to try to counter this, right? So like that, or like in reality, a lot of the time, you might just get like that, right? So we were working on this last night. So if you if he were if I was here and he cuts to me, right, an uppercut, a lot of the time it'll end up like this. Um, sometimes it'll end up like this, right? So as he cuts, right, kind of like this. Right? So, um, problem is if you do it, if it's downwards and off to the side, you really want to get it so as you as you do that cut, right, like that. That helps get there. Um, and really, what this ends up doing, uh, see, most of the time when you're doing this, you'll accidentally discover the Meisterhauen, right? So, for instance, right, this is the shield how you begin to cut and you do a bending, right? Or if he cuts to my side, right, I begin to cut. Right? And right, so you continue to cut through, right? And I go like this, right? Thrust. Right? That's kind of what we want to do. So as I cut to him, right? He goes like this and thrust, right? And then cut, thrust, cut, thrust, cut, cut, thrust. And you can also add in um, uh, feints, right? So again, we're going slow right now, but I go, whoo, 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 right? And you have to do with that. You'll see a lot more of that. It's very hard to demonstrate slow, because obviously if you're moving slowly, you can see it. But that's essentially the, uh, the main drills that we're going through right now, and I find them to be quite helpful. So hopefully you guys will as well. So we'll first try and space it. Start in the mind for the first, variation so from here Bernhardt's gonna start doing the uh, once he's in a position he's gonna thrust with his hands right so
I was leading that. Turn on this slide. Yeah. So. Okay. Keep your hands lower. 